Hello guys and welcome to another episode of our Cluster City Career Mode. Well, you might ask, first of all, I told you that today there's gonna be an Aston Villa episode, so the first episode, the start of the Aston Villa Career Mode, there still might be an Aston Villa Career Mode video, I'm not sure because I know that right now I'm recording this video and I'm like 80% sure that after this I will record an Aston Villa episode, so the first episode, I prepared everything, I'm very sure about it. But I'm not sure if I'm tomorrow have the time to not only make this video and save it and upload it but also the next one and record one. So there might be the possibility that it's not out today basically for you but tomorrow. I actually think it's not out today but it might be. I'm not 100% sure but yeah. Why do I make another um, episode of this Football Manager 17 save? Even though I told you I'm not gonna do that many episodes because I did all the pre-season and everything. I'm on the day as you can see, ne next match, Saturday the 5th of August, it's the 5th of August. So today it is the first game of the league and I've gone through all the pre-season and after this, um, I recorded this, I will go through a lot of games, at least like half of the games I think, until I make the next episode. So there are definitely a few days until the next episode, maybe even a full week, who knows. Depends on how much I play, but I before I can start, I have to update you. I told you in the start and definitely in the end of the um, season, I will also, uh, always make a video. So I have to do one and there's no reason to record it and not upload it. So therefore, today there is another episode. Um, a lot has changed. I want to really quick talk about the tactics and um, the finances, but especially about the chances. And that's more or less it. So this episode should be a bit um, shorter than normal. Tactics have changed a bit. Um, it's more or less still the same. It's still normal tempo, um, wide, slightly higher. Prevent short goalkeeper distribution. I um, yeah, untick that basically, closing down for more to much more. And of course, playing out of defense and exploit the flanks, work ball in the box. You can see just some little changes, nothing too amazing to be honest. I had to change the set pieces. I changed the set pieces a bit. So here you can see what um, we are doing right now, corners and attack wise so just if you care here really quick because I don't really want to talk about this too much you can also see what we are doing so we're doing always the same on the left or the right and you can see this and just if you know some things and want to talk about it you can tell me but there's no really a need captains also changed Boomfield is now our captain which is I think isn't uh, funny he's 16 years old and he's our captain but he has the best stats for it although these changed a bit this is basically all I want to say about the tactics. There is nothing else I really changed. Um, financial wise, I'm not sure why it's going down. So um, I changed a bit the budget. I can change it a lot. It's it gone up, but now it's going down again. And we didn't really do anything. The wage budget, I think, in the start of the season was like 3.2 or something. Now it's 3.6, so it, it gone up a bit. But for example, end last season or something, it was like 4k. So the wage budget is still gone down and we have some tons of budget so if I change it I actually have a, uh, spent a lot less wage than I do. So I just don't know what's going, why it's going down that much to be honest. Well the problem is the, expand, uh, the, yeah, the cost is going up on I don't know why exactly it's going up this much because yeah play wages of course but the wages are not going up, so these stayed the same more or less. At some point they gone up, but gone down. Staff wages also we lost some uh, one. The head, um, the head of the youth development, but we also got a new one who I think earns even less. Yes, some players earn more, but in the end, the wage budget or the, all the wages we spend um, per week and therefore also per month are the same. And of course, they don't get some money through um, like already doing things like getting to a certain round or whatever in the in the cup. And we also don't build a new stadium or improve something. So we don't spend more money than in the mid or end or start of the last season. But still, we make huge losses. Because the income, yeah, we had, I mean, we always had this kind of income. We had this one big improvement because here we had like two or three rounds in, the, in some cup games and got like in total 70, 80k. And you can see this is why we had so much. But normally we are at like 30 to 40k in income always. And on the other side, I don't know why our budget, um, I don't just know, uh, 30, 40 K and it was like this all the time. You can see it was always just a little bit more, this is why, but now it's going up like extremely and I really don't know why. 
so I don't know why this is happening, but I think I'm still quite um, kind of, uh, quite fine with it because um, there are gonna be a few players we're gonna uh, sell um, with some money probably, and um, yeah, we will get some money through the cups I think. So yeah, this is it. Once or twice, a lot has happened. This has happened. So I signed a lot of free agents because the cool thing is, with like half of them I signed non. With everybody I signed non contracts. With half of them, I want half of them. I signed um, like they get just a few, like six, seven euros per week, a uh, per appearance, which is nothing. And then there are a few ones who get like a normal one, so it's more or less the wage. You can see Odiero left us. Um, Joe Hanks, unfortunately, I think joined a different cl uh, club already. Um, no, he didn't. He still didn't. He still um, to get, but I, he still doesn't want to join. We lost um, Bennett, you know that, um, hopefully, and we were able to. Yeah, Dinsley is gone. So a few players gone. Mark Richards. This is interesting. He retired, but he did not only retire from his player career, but also from his coach career, more or less. So he was our assistant coach, I think. And he retired, and I tried to sign him back because he's a legend here. You can see he was a coach, but he did not, uh, does not want to join us. So I don't know what's going on. I will show you all the players very shortly. Um, we have Evans, who is a um, CDM. He is a ball winning with feeder, as you can see. I'm training him in ball winning with feeder. Um, with some decent stats, Jordan Cox is um, somebody I will see here. He's my backup, or if he, is he in my first choice team? Yeah, you can see he's right now even in my first choice team. The advanced playmaker in the like center forward position. He's pacey, has amazing put, um, agility, two and a half star. The domination is good, work rate is good, teamwork is all right, anticipation is very good, composure is really good, finishing, first touch, dribbling. He is our best one in that position with Broomfield. He has to fight against Broomfield for that position. And I think he will be one of the main players for us in the next one two years. Because if he can improve, then he is just amazing. He already has a lot of stats. And he is also somebody I might think a striker. If Dale is not working, I can put him in striker role. So somebody really amazing. Really happy to have him. One of our best signings, in my opinion. That's why also he gets quite a lot. But also 120. He is one of them who earns definitely the most. But I still thought I have to do it because he is so good for us. And if he is just not performing, I will end the contract easily or somebody will go for him. But yeah, the only problem with him could be if he's perf um, performing decent, many teams will try to get him. Then we would have to sign a contract and I think then he wants big wages. Shaq Wana, who is a right winger, he can play on the left. Tours ability, what I love about him, he is really pacey, has the stamina as well, has the work rates. Of course he has to improve a lot, but also somebody I think I have a lot of... Um, yeah, I really think he could be a good player for us in the future, if he can improve fast. His crossing is already good, he definitely has to of course improve his finishing, first touch, tripling and some mental stats. So he has a long way to go, but if he can do it, somebody definitely I'm looking for, he can be decent. The same thing, not too much. Gortis is a really amazing player, he is I think a ball, uh, not a ball wing midfielder. He can play as a um, center back, but for me, I think yeah, a trans playmaker and look at some of his stats. He is my backup. Um, Playmaker, trans playmaker in the center mid role because he is paid. I mean, his physical stats 13, 13, 12, 14, good stamina, 11 determination, good decisions, Ever, um, yeah, 7, 8 everywhere positioning, teamwork at 8, vision could be a bit better, work rate at 12, can tackle a bit, passing at 14. I think he's the best passer we have in the whole squad. A nice first touch as well, so he's not there yet, but he is really close. Free star ability, and I think he was not on too much. Yeah, nothing really. Like 25, if he's not playing 5 years. Team of the year is also just 100, so definitely something I think is amazing. Oh, he is on the contract too, uh, to be honest though. So he, oh I think actually I didn't know that, that he was on a contract. Um, but the other guys I think we are not on a contract, so... There's actually a player I had to sign a contract with. Um, I thought that I didn't do with anybody, but maybe... Um, so I, I, I think there were one two players I was thinking about. It's uh, it's I think two days ago. So the last time I did this, I mean l l yesterday I did these. So this is two days ago. So I think he was so good that I actually signed a contract with him. So he is on uh, not too much actually. One or twenty is not too much. And yeah, you can see I really wanted to keep him because with that ability, that potential, and these already stats, 
I think he is one of the main players who is going to be in our squad for a few years. Toby Benny, one of the um, well, most interesting players for me. He is my backup center back, I think, right now, because he is also quite tall, very fast, good um, um, jumping reach, not too much, but good f um, physical sets, not running too much. Positioning could be better, that's more main problem. But third in tackling, I think he is actually the best tackler we have, maybe with D Man, who also have like 12 or something, marking at 9. So, more or less, the Mandel sets a bit of a movement, but I have to improve a bit, but except of this, he is amazing. What an amazing player, and he is also not really on anything. So, one of the most interesting players for sure. So, this is more or less it, basically. There are still a few players we want to get out, but look, how, how many are there? 3, 6, 9, 12, 15, 18, 21, 23 or something. There are still, I think, 3, 4 players are still gonna join us in the next um, few weeks. And there are a few ones gonna leave us, because for example they ended 18th. Bobby still, I ended his contract, so he will um, leave. The same as for Martin, this guy, Molineux or however you say that. Because these two are really shit, I mean half a star. Which is extremely bad even for my youth team. And even if they could, uh, would get to a one-off stability, they would never play for me. So there's new, no reason to keep them. Some other players like him, for example, I'm also thinking about doing it. But yeah, in the under 23s, of course, we have all the big players. And you look at the, if you have so many players with decent ability, an amazing, of course, there's still some first um, choice players here with that potentials. But all the players have with um, better potentials are more. I want to get him out. He is on a long contract zone. He is not earning too much, I think. Yeah, not too much. But if there's an offer, he is on my transfer list. If there's an offer, I'm going to sell him for sure. We also have here um, Louis Hall. Um, I think I want to get out because I don't trust him too much. So. Um, he's right now, I think, on a loan or something, um, or was just, um, just, he was on a loan or just came back from a loan. But he is even on a contract, he, I can do it right now, transfer list that I'm asking for like, let's start with like 3k and I will go down every time. So he is definitely somebody I will try to get out of my team. Then we also have uh, Chambers, I'm really unsure what to do with Chambers because many people already say he is one of the most interesting players here, but he's not really improving. He has not amazing stats, his ability is bad, his potential is going down, so definitely somebody I think also will be on my shortlist. But he is, yeah, he is earning quite a lot, so Chambers I think also somebody I want to get out. And then you can see we have um, Knowles, of course, I want to get out. I would keep him, because he played decent, so he is, but he is still transfer listed. And I'm asking not for too much, I would say. Because in the end he earns something, and I don't really need him, he is nobody for the future. And I don't think he will ever play for us again. Gutting somebody, um, I'm thinking about it, because he has not amazing potential, but he is just 16, he can improve his potential, so it's uh, in here. Thomas, somebody I definitely want to get out. He's decent, but he's my backup, he's not really fast, not amazing, everything. Ability is amazing, but potential is not too good. So he is um, not transfer listed yet, but I can do it. Trans uh, okay, there is a reason why I didn't do it yet. The thing is, as I told you, I want to first, yeah, I want to first get the play, uh, replacements and then sell them. I don't want to sell somebody and then have to search for a replacement. So as soon as I got the new right back, there were one two interesting ones I um, tried to sign, but um, for a certain reason they didn't want to. But he is on some amazing, uh, some big rage, so somebody definitely trying to get out. The same for Vencer Hamilton, really trying to get him out and I'm close to doing this. I asked for someone and there are some interesting teams. I got, um, was at like, I think 3k, gone down, nobody was interested in going to run to 2k. We had some interesting teams and now born to 1.5k. And boom, everybody was interested. And I also got an offer for a zero. I think I accepted this because I just want to get him out because he earns quite uh, some money and would be really nice to get him out. Yeah, and I think this is basically everything. So you can see I changed the squad a lot and there's still gonna be a lot of changes. I hope that the fines will go up then, I sold a few players. And I think with this squad we should have nothing to do with the relegation zone. I think actually if this squad can perform, we could actually maybe even fight for the playoffs this season. Yeah, and this is more or less my goal. I would take a material place again, but... If possible, I would like to at least fight for the playoffs. Guys, this is it. I hope you enjoyed this episode. Until the next episode, there are definitely going to be a few days because now I'm really going to play a lot. Really interested in trying out a lot of places. We have so many options. We don't. It's not too important if somebody in is injured anymore because for every position we have a lot of options. And also, maybe somebody in the in my first choice squad is not impo uh, improving or he, I just don't like him. Then boom, I can quickly replace him. 
so I think it makes sense. I will have one quick look at the notebook, want to see if I have missed anything. Um, so I showed you this kit, kit sponsor, I think I told you about it. If not, we got a, not, a new kit sponsor. Before that we got 5.8k per year, now we got 12.25k per year and the um, contract goes for a few years, so big improvement. Before that we didn't even have a sponsorship, now we have one. Um, everybody wanted us, um, our head of the youth development, and he left, um, unfortunately, he wanted uh, not to sign a new contract with us. We got 12.5k for that, and I got a replacement, I think, already. Um, no, nobody yet, but I think I'm close to signing one. Or I, I got somebody new in, I think. I'm not sure, we still have the best scouting. I mean, what? Well, that's amazing. Yeah, um, what is left to say? We have some amazing fitness coaches because everybody was unhappy with my fitness coach. So I got a new fitness coach, which is this guy, and he has 18 in fitness. So nobody can en uh, ever be unhappy again with the fitness coaching and this club. I got my license beef of, um, finally. Um, then something I found extremely interesting. Because of the protest, the World Cup 22 moved to Argentina and will not be basically in Qatar, which I think is amazing. Hopefully if there's something that, that like this could happen in real life as well. Got a new coach, everybody wanted Renets and unfortunately gone. Um, yeah, Bonfield is our captain, which is stupid, but yeah. Um, everybody offered Fritz uh, Fitzgerald a new contract and still happening, but he declined everybody, uh, everyone yet and says that he wants to stay, but... There's still contracts um, offers and, and l until you cannot offer him a new contract because um, I asked him and he wants like 500, 600 years per week and I'm not allowed to do that. Also something I'm really unsure about because there are a few players who earn a lot of money. Kotvika for example, Kotvika is one of them, 325 per week per year and some amazing things. So I really hope or he has to improve from He is the second best, quality wise, the second best player we have in the squad and earns the second most, so he has to perform, otherwise I will just get him out because he earns way too much and the best player earns the most money and the best player we have is Demon. Jack Demon, our center back and he earns 400 a week with some big, but he quality wise is the best player we have and I really wanted to keep him because he performs. Yeah, this is it, I hope you enjoyed it, I'm not sure if there's gonna be an Aston Villa episode today, I'm really unsure yet. But I still hope you enjoyed this episode as well. If so, please smash the like button. In the comments, as always, tell me if you want me to do certain things. There's nothing else to say, guys. And yeah, hopefully, uh, hopefully you have an amazing day or some amazing hours. Because if the Aston Miller video comes out today, one thing I definitely know is that this video will be the first one today on Tuesday. There's nothing else to say. Have an amazing day, guys. And bye.